สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. I'm your host JP Mestanza, and today is Friday, March 8th, meaning the latest edition of the Phuket News has been released, chock full of features, and so much more. Grab your copy at any one of 600 locations around the island. Now here's the news you need to know. Emergency water supplies are being deployed in select areas of k o k e o following a slew of complaints of tap water running at very low pressure, or even not at all, at some areas. Despite assurances from the chief of the Phuket Water Works Authority that water-saving measures have been introduced, four tanks, each holding 2,000 liters of water, are being placed in four locations in Mu f o r and Mu f i in k o k e o where, according to officials, residents have started to suffer from the lack of tap water and low water pressure. Still, there was some confusion when officials from the k o k e o Oboto posted on Facebook about the water restrictions, but was since taken down. It's a similar situation as just a month ago, when k o k e o officials announced their restrictions only for Governor p a k a p o n t a v i p a t to declare them as quote erroneous. For the full story, visit the PhuketNews.com. Remember that attack on a female tourist back on February 27th that was supposedly done by a tuk-tuk driver? Well, a police investigation is revealing that the driver was not the one who carried out the assault. Back on February 27th, in the early hours, a group of four female Chinese tourists were heading back to their resort after a night out in Patong. And while on their way back, they told police an argument broke out with the tuk-tuk driver over the fare, and he allegedly assaulted one of the women. Well, police are now saying that the assailant was in fact another man who became aware of the dispute in Cheng Tele, a witness who got involved and assaulted one of the women. Police, however, declined to provide details about the new suspect. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A safety zone around Phuket International Airport, where locals and tourists go to take selfies under landing planes, will be implemented following a meeting held by officials on Wednesday amid safety concerns. The increasing popularity of the area has come to be known as Unseen Phuket. It's come to the attention of officials who say that safety is the main issue since the area is so close to where many airplanes tend to land. No timetable was announced as to when officials would have put up the fence, but they did say that tourists will be able to continue to take photos from the beach just further away from the runway. Sit tight, Phuket Extra. I'll be right back after this. Visit us in Patong or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Last month, the Thai Raksa Chat Party nominated Princess u b o r a t a n a to be their candidate for prime minister in this month's election. And while the move brought them plenty of coverage, it cost them their entire existence as the Constitutional Court today disbanded the party. The Constitutional Court voted unanimously to disband the Thai Raksa Chat Party. Which was connected to former fugitive Prime Minister Taksin and Ying Lak Shinawat, his sister. While the court also decided to ban the party's 14 executives from running in elections for the next decade, 10 years. The nomination of Princess u b o r a t a n a for Prime Minister last month made headlines around the world, but His Majesty the King b a j i r a l o n g k o n deemed it inappropriate, and the princess stepped down as a nominee, with the Election Commission deeming the party's actions as hostile to the monarchy, which is a violation of election law, as her nomination ignored the quote fundamental value of the rule of constitutional monarchy, as the royal family must remain politically neutral. The ruling automatically invalidates the candidacy of all 282 MP nominees who ran for the party. But the Thai Raksachat Party, which is closely aligned with the p u t a i Party, also of the Shinawat clan, they're telling their supporters to vote no in constituencies where neither party has a candidate, in the hopes of forcing election reruns in those districts, with plans to later field p u t a i Party candidates in those reruns. Politics is a messy game. 16 types of medicine derived from cannabis are being planned for cultivation between Thai universities and the Department of Thai Traditional and Alternative Medicine, known as the DTAM. 
The Bekar Post is reporting that the Sakona Con campuses of both Katsitsar University and Raja Mangala University of Technology Isan, they will be contacted to help develop the marijuana plantation, with about 1,400 rye of land designated for it, with the director of the state agency, the DTAM, saying that they are seeking permits for the project right now. Cultivation is expected to take between 90 to 100 days, and if permits are given soon, harvest can be carried out as soon or as early as July. The director added that up to 2,000 kilos of marijuana a year can be used to make medicine to serve about 1,000 medical patients nationwide. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSE Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. And until Monday, stay classy, Phuket. Visit Ice Arena Phuket and Boat Bo Bo Lagoon. Open every day from 9am till 9pm. Skate rentals included with your admission.